Down, side to side, just another crazy day on this roller coaster ride. I try to do what's right, I end up doing wrong. Every day's another verse in my sinful song. But you pick me up with your mercy and your grace. I wanna give you all of me until I see your face. I wanna Welcome back to LifePoint Kids. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today we're beginning a brand new series and that series is called Battle Zone. The Bible is full of great battle stories of victory for God's people in the battle zone. For the next few weeks, we're going to discover some of the battle stories that can help teach us lessons on how to live a life of victory over all the problems that life throws at us. Let's get started by going to Jesus in prayer and ask him to bless our time together today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we get to come to church today. We thank you that we get to be with our friends. We thank you that we get to fellowship with them. But Lord, we thank you more than anything that we get to come and learn more about you and worship you, Lord. We ask you to help us today to get in our, in our hearts and in our minds the important lessons you have for us. We want to serve you. We want to make you proud. We want to make you happy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey kids, welcome to our series, Battle Zone. The series is about some of the biggest battles in the Bible. We are going to learn what it takes to win a victory in life's toughest battles. Have you ever had someone tell you that you are too young to do something? 
Doesn't that just drive you crazy? Maybe you were too young to ride the roller coaster at the amusement park or too young to stay at home by yourself, so you had to have your older sister babysit you. That's a bummer, huh? There's lots of times in life when you may be told you're too young. Even though you are still a kid, there are some things you are not too young to do. We are going to learn about one of those things today. Right now, I want you to check out this video. Well, after months of training, uh, this morning it was a five o'clock start. We had the snails out on the gallops. Um, Man, this show is so boring. Well, you picked it. Well, that doesn't mean I want to watch it. Why would you pick a show that you have no interest in watching? I don't know. It sounded fun. Snail races? Really? Well, I always wondered how the snails put their sneakers on. <laughs> It's time! My name's Matt. My name is Mason. My brother and I have a long-standing tradition. Every day at the exact same time, we enter the battle zone. But it's not just any battle zone. We've been having Nerf Wars since we were little kids. And today, he's going down. He's going down. You boys better get in place. Ready? Aw, oh, man. I didn't find a good hiding spot. I need to use my tactical skills to find out where Mason is. Oh, that was close. Looks like Mason's got the high ground. He's got a gun that can shoot one of those little puffy Nerf bullets all the way over here. This little wimpy gun won't shoot that far. What am I gonna do? I need to get across the yard to get that bigger gun. But if I set foot around this tree, Mason's gonna get me for sure. The only way is to run all the way across the yard. It's a huge risk. But it's just like David in the Bible story I read. If you don't risk it, you don't win the victory. I've gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh man! Ah oh, yes! It's like I said kids, if you don't take a risk, you'll never win the victory. God will help you in the battle zone if you trust him and take the risk. You'll learn more about this in your lesson today, and we'll see you next time in the battle zone. Best two out of three? Boys, come in, I made some meatloaf! Great. You may be too young for a lot of things, but you are not too young to take a risk for God. In life's toughest spiritual battles, you have to be willing to step out in faith, take a risk, and fight. Today, you are going to learn from a young hero in the Bible how to take a risk for God in order to win the victory in the battle zone. Right now, it's time to find out what you gotta know. <laughs> What's happening, you crazy cats? It's me, Disco Dave, and I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. 
I am so excited to be telling you all about this groovy new series called Battle Zone. Today, we're learning about how God can use us if we take risks and do what's right. So have a time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them. If I take a risk, God will bring a victory. Hot dog, that's the truth. Sometimes you find yourself in some risky situations. Dynamite! Well, dynamite is risky, but I'm talking about when you are facing a situation in life that you know God wants you to face, but you are just so afraid to face it. It may be a risk, but God will help you through it. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them. If I take a risk, God will bring a victory. All right, kids, that right there is what you gotta know. Well, I'm Disco Dave saying, Dino my Thanks, Disco Dave. As you just heard, what you gotta know today is, if I take a risk, God will bring the victory. So, every time someone here shouts, what you gotta know, stand your feet and yell, if I take a risk, God will bring the victory. So let's practice. What you gotta know? If, if I take, take a risk, God will bring the victory. Wow, that was great. And that's today's What You Gotta Know. All right, it's time for Game On. And today's Game On is going to be a cupcake eating contest. Cupcake eating contest. Yes, my favorite type of cupcakes. The you know, little Miss Debbie cupcakes, chocolate with the cream in the middle, and it just looks so good. Uh, mm, mm, and they are good. But you guys have to eat them with your hands behind your back. Okay? First one to... First one to, to, to uh, finish your cupcake wins. Are you all ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Okay, so you, get to un yep. you, you get to unwrap your cupcake with your hands, but then your hands go behind your back. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get that. Go! Tender carry! Oh no, my stuff! Okay. Oh, you can't sit like this! Go! I can't! Oh, no! You can hold your hair. We have a winner! Oh yeah, that was a, that was so close. You had a lead to begin oh, with. I couldn't yeah. even get my thing open. I was like, <laughs> so, Lexi, you were the winner. So you get the game that drop the name out of the bucket for a virtual player. <laughs> Tobias McDaniel, Tobias, you are the virtual player for the day. All right, so uh, let us know you're watching. And if you do, we'll give you a $5 Walmart gift card. Because you have to either be here or you have to be watching it online. All right? So good job, girls. Great job. Thank you. Great job. All right. What you got to know? If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. It's time to join Lexi and Savannah singing praises to Jesus.
Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. Way beyond the blue. Today we are going to learn about one of the most famous stories in the Bible. It begins with the army of Israel, God's chosen people, in a terrible situation. The army of Israel is being challenged by their enemies, the Philistines. If they lose, they will have to become slaves to the Philistines. That's not good. A young man named David arrived at the battle to bring some food for his brothers who were fighting. When David arrived, he saw how upset and scared all of the soldiers were. Suddenly, David heard the reason why they were scared. A giant named Goliath was the champion of the Philistines. He screamed, send me a man who will fight me. Goliath was over nine feet tall and he had never been beaten in a battle. The soldiers were scared to take on this giant not a single one of them was willing to take the risk of going up against the mighty Goliath. David couldn't believe it. He looked around and saw nothing but scared soldiers. So he spoke up, I will fight this giant. The soldiers just laughed at him. Everyone tried to talk David out of fighting Goliath. When that didn't work, the king tried to offer David his armor, but the armor did not fit. David was just a kid. So David decided to take a huge risk and take on the giant in his own way. David was a shepherd. He was used to defending his sheep with his slingshot. So David grabbed five smooth stones from a nearby stream and headed out to face Goliath. Goliath was not impressed. He made fun of David because he was just a little boy, but that didn't matter to David. He knew that God was on his side. David yelled back at Goliath, I come to you in the name of the Lord God. This is his battle. David loaded up his slingshot with one of his stones. He hurled it around and around until he finally let it fly towards Goliath. The rock sailed through the air. It must have seemed like forever as the rock sailed towards Goliath. Suddenly, the rock found its target. The rock hit Goliath right between the eyes. It hit him so hard that it knocked him to the ground completely unconscious. David ran over and killed Goliath right there in the middle of the field. He had beaten the giant and God was receiving the glory. Imagine if David had not been willing to take the risk. If he had given in to his fear and not fought the giant, the entire nation of Israel would have become slaves to the Philistines. This story teaches us that you are never too young to take a risk for God. Today, you are going to learn more about how you can win incredible victories if you are willing to take a risk and trust God in the battle zone. But you gotta know. If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. Voila! Hello, boys and girls! Once again, this is I, Presto Changeo, the world's greatest Presto Digit. Presto Digit. Magic guy, you get it? Well, once again, I am here to boggle your mind and tickle your senses with today's Power Verse. Today's Power Verse says The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? 
Psalm 27, 1. Isn't that just spectacular, Powderverse? Ah, yes, be amazed. But just like I do at all of my sold out shows around the world, well, really in front of the grocery store before they call the police, I am going to make things disappear with the help of my handy dandy assistant, Hokey. It's Hocus. I'm not Hokey, and I'm not Pokey. It's Hocus Pocus. Now, can we just get on with the Powerverse? Yeah, sure, whatever. Now it is time to make part of the Powerverse disappear. Watch. Ah, yes. Now, which words should I make disappear? Hmm. How about this one? And this one. Yes. Now, boys and girls, you shall all say the Powerverse with Hokey. It's Hocus. Whatever, man. Come on, work with me here. All right, everyone on the count of three. One, two, three. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? Psalm 27, one. That was pretty amazing, but prepare to be amazed. Err, I am going to now make even more words vanish before your eyes. Like this one. Ha-ha! Now, let's just see how well you kids remember it. Say it with me now on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Good job! Now for my greatest trick ever! Not really. Quit your yapping before I turn you into a glove. All right, boys and girls, it is now time for my rightest trick. I shall make myself disappear. This is Presto Changeo saying, Do you see me? <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. Pumpernickel chili fries. <laughs> Have you ever had a situation that you just knew you had to face? You know, but you were afraid to do it? You knew it was something God wanted you to do, but it just seemed too big for you. It was too much of a risk. Maybe God spoke to your heart to give your entire allowance in the offering for a missionary. And that seemed like a huge risk. Yeah, after all, if you gave all your money, what would you do next time you wanted to buy something? Well, perhaps there was someone at school that you felt like God wanted you to share the good news of Jesus with, but you were afraid that they wouldn't listen to you. It seemed too risky. It seemed like a giant assignment. Maybe you felt God wanted you to be friends with the kid at school that everyone makes fun of, but you started to worry that others would start to make fun of you too. It seemed like a giant problem. It seemed like it was just too much of a risk. I understand, I really do. Sometimes things seem like they're risky, but if I'm going to win in the battle zone, then I must be willing to risk and do what's right. It's true. It's true that sometimes God calls us to do things that seem like a big risk. Those things may seem giant and scary, but God has not called us only to do things that are easy. He's called us to obey him even when it seems like a giant risk. Remember David? Yeah, David, he was the one that was willing to step up and take on the giant Goliath, even when none of the other adults, soldiers were willing to do it. He was willing to risk his life in order to obey God and save God's people from slavery. Thankfully, David was willing to take a risk, and lives were changed as a result. You must, you must be willing to take a risk sometimes. If you do, lives will be changed. Remember, I fight in God's power, not my own. David knew that he could take on the giant. He knew that he could take a risk because he knew that he was not fighting in his own power. 
Remember when he faced Goliath on the battlefield? He shouted out toward Goliath. He said, you come to me with a sword and a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God Almighty. This is his battle. He will give me the victory. Wow. David didn't say, I will win, or I'm the man, I'm cool. He knew that it was God who had the power to defeat Goliath, not him. When you find yourself in the battle zone, you have to remember that it's God's power you're fighting with. Next time you're taking a risk for God, you just do what David did. Lift your voice. I want you to lift your voice and I want you to declare as loud as you can. Hey, enemy, I don't come to you in my own power. I come to you in the power of God who created the world. I may be young, but I'm not too young to fight in God's power. Then you know what will happen? The same thing that happened to David. If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. Just like God brought the victory to David over Goliath, God will bring the victory to you when you are willing to take a risk and fight in his power. God is looking for younger boys and girls who are willing to take a risk and obey him. It may seem like a huge assignment, but if you take a risk and you trust God, he will bring the victory. Don't be afraid. Be like David and realize that when you're in the battle zone, you should take a risk and God will bring the victory. Rewind! It's time to rewind. Let's see what you remember from our lesson today. Question number one. What you got to know today? Risk it for the biscuit. I will risk it all. Or if I take a risk, God will bring the victory. Great job. If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. Question number two. What was the name of the boy who took on the giant in our Bible story? David, Danny, or Dean? You got it, David. Question number three. Who were the people who were threatening to enslave the Israelites? The Moabites, the Philistines, or the Meanie Heads? Great job, the Philistines. Question number four. Who was the champion of the Philistines? Gary, Garth, or Goliath? You have a great memory, Goliath. Question number five. How tall was Goliath? Two feet tall, six feet tall, or over nine feet tall? That's right, he was over nine feet tall. Question number six. How did David defeat Goliath? Did he sucker punch him? Did he slingshot him? Or with sticks? He slingshot him. Question number seven. According to our lesson today, I must be willing to risk and do what's right. I must be willing to sing and do what's right. Or I must be willing to lie and do what's right. That's right. I must be willing to risk and do what's right. Question number eight. According to our lesson today, I fight in Earth's power, not my own. I fight in David's power, not my own. Or I fight in God's power, not my own. That's right. I fight in God's power, not my own. Question number nine. According to our lesson today, if I take a risk, God will bring the trophy. If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. If I take a risk, God will bring the chips and dip. That's right, always remember, if I take a risk, God will bring the victory. And question number 10, where was our power verse found? Goliath 1, 7, 2 Kings 2, 11, or Psalms 27, 1? That's right, Psalm 27, 1. Well, how did you do? Did you get them all correct? Did you do your best? Great. 
What you gotta know? If I take a risk, God will bring the victory. I'm so glad you were here for Life Point Kids today. I hope you enjoyed the service and learned a little bit more about how much Jesus loves you. You know, he really does love you. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with what we learned today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we got to attend church today. We thank you that we got to learn about you and how much you love us. Lord, we thank you for the story we had today and how you showed us that we don't fight in our power. We fight in your power. And Lord, we pray that you help us to take risks that we need to take for you to do the things you want us to do, the things you want to accomplish. We ask you to give us the courage, the strength to do these things, and we ask this in Jesus' name. We also ask you to keep us safe this week, and we love you, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, see you next week at LifePoint, kids, where we're learning to live for Jesus every day.